Hey, what's going on everybody? So yeah, uh, OnePlus finally uh, revealed, or not revealed, but released Oxygen OS. Um, and I know a lot of people are at different levels as far as their know-how, uh, technical know-how, and there's varying levels. I mean, really complex to programming to just uh, users. And so I wanted to kind of bridge that gap a little bit and show you, if you're not too familiar, how to install Oxygen OS. So this video is going to be time stamped. There's going to be a few different points for it because I know, like I said, everybody's at a different level. Um, this is assuming that you are running a stock version of CyanogenMod 11S. You are not rooted, you have a locked bootloader, all that stuff. Um, if this is you, click this link right here and install the WUG Fresh Root Toolkit for the bacon or something like that. It, it, it'll be the right link, don't worry. Because um, that's going to be your best friend for this video. Two, make sure that you have already downloaded the Oxygen OS zip. Uh, kind of no-brainer. Uh, and three, uh, let's quit chatting and just get right into it. Disclaimer, of course, I'm not at fault for anything you do to your phone. Uh, if you follow the instructions and use the toolkit appropriately, you should be just fine. But you gotta throw it out there. So uh, let's get into it and breathe some oxygen into our system. God, that was really stupid. I'm sorry. I won't do that again. So like I said before, make sure that you have the Bacon Root Toolkit installed. I'll go ahead and open it up and start it from scratch so you can see what it's going to look like. You're probably going to have to download a bunch of stuff right when it starts up, just updating it and all the file dependencies and whatnot. Should auto-detect what build you're running. If not, let's go ahead and look into the device itself. Pretty straightforward. Tap down. Go into settings. Put the mic a little closer here. Go into settings, scroll down, about phone, and it should tell you right there, build number. Pretty straightforward. So go ahead and um, I would, here's what I'm gonna tell you to do before you do any of this actually. Make sure that your device is connected via ADB. So what I have here is a little program, just a small ADB uh, and fast boot program that I will link in the description. You don't have to know anything about it. All you gotta know is if your device can be connected and if it is connected. So we're gonna run a simple command, ADB devices. Now my device, like you see there, is connected. What you need to do in order to get this to happen is A, make sure that you run this full driver installation guide. And B, make sure that you have in the developer options, uh, enable ADB device debugging or whatever it says. To do that, go into about phone, tap the build number probably about eight times See, I have no need because I already have developer options. And then developer options will become available to you. Go into it. And I scrolled way too far down. Android debugging. Now, if this all works properly, you should get a pop-up on your phone that says something about this RSA token, yada yada, all that stuff. You want to accept that and check the box that says always allow connections from this source or something to that effect. There's only one checkbox. Make sure you check it because it's going to eliminate a lot of problems in the future. Now that you have that done, here's what you need to do. Go ahead and unlock your device if it is not unlocked already. Now what you're essentially doing with this step is saying, all right, I'm gonna allow system level modifications to my phone, which is what you want because you wanna change the system altogether. This will wipe your phone if you are not unlocked. Back everything up off of your phone, pictures, context, videos, whatever method you wanna do. I prefer titanium backup. If you're rooted, it's a really great option. If not, that's fine. There are plenty of other options. I have no idea what that noise was. There are plenty of other options available. Um, I do my contacts via just Google and pictures and stuff. I just put it right on my computer. So without further ado, go ahead and unlock it. After that process is done, and again, you need to make sure that you have this ADB device, uh, ADB devices and that it shows up in there, which we're gonna do one more time. ADB devices, if I can spell. And it shows up in there you need to make sure that that is available it might show up as unauthorized if that's the case go ahead and I, can, I can almost guarantee your phone is probably locked go ahead and unlock it and you should have a pop-up with that allow connections prompt do that and then we'll come back here to the next step so once your device is unlocked booted up and ready to go go ahead and click the root option I already have this done for the sake of time because it does take a little bit of time and I figured rather than just having needless footage that's fast forwarded, um, I would just have it pre-done. This is all a completely automatic process. If your device is connected, it will do it by itself. It might say waiting for a device and it might be stuck on maybe like a fast boot screen or something like that, or maybe a charging screen. I've had both those scenarios. 
Just power your device off, power it on, keeping it plugged in, and it will connect itself, and it will do everything for you. It's really, like, you don't have to do anything here. I highly encourage you to check out XDA or some other forums and learn a little bit about the process itself, but this will take care of everything for you, which is fantastic. So now that you are rooted and you have the custom recovery installed and you will know if you do because it will temporarily boot into TWRP, TWRP, Team Win Recovery Project, you will know. After it has done that, go ahead, make sure that you have the Oxygen OS 1.0.0 or whatever version you're on when you're watching this. Make sure that is on your phone. It, might, it has to be because the next step is critical. At that point, you're going to want to double check ADB devices. There are much there are other ways to get into recovery, but this is the easiest since we're already connected with an ADB device. You're going to want to click ADB reboot with a space recovery. And at this point, your phone will reboot into the Team Win Recovery Project recovery program. Let it boot up here real quick. Now this next step is critical make a backup i don't care what your excuse is you have no backup or you have no excuse to not make a backup especially since uh there's nothing on your phone go ahead and click backup swipe to back up do this i don't care what your excuse is do it in fact uh the first time i tried making this video for whatever reason i must have not completed the download for the oxygen os zip or something weird and it actually didn't install properly and thanks to the backup i made i was able to restore save myself a lot of headaches so do this just do it okay it's not going to take very long because there's nothing on your phone at this point we'll go ahead and we will flash the recovery but uh, or we will flash the oxygen os system but we got to wait until it finishes downloading for me so we'll fast forward to that all right so this has been a learning process for everybody today so I did a little research and came to find out that you cannot flash this zip, and if I was smart I would have just looked inside of it, but the oxygen flashable zip. So the file I had is fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to extract it just right here to the desktop is fine. And let us go into A001. And I'm just going to copy the whole folder over there. Okay, so it is basically on the device now. Let's go back into our ADB and ADB reboot. If I can type, recovery. Which will put our phone to twerp. Team win. I like team win better. Sounds better. So at this point, I'm going to double check that all the files are there properly scroll on down oxygen os flashable zip that's a really 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 so incredibly stupid of them to do i have zero idea why they would not just make the initial zip a flashable zip because that through i mean i'm i've been flashing around since jeez man the galaxy s3 when it first came out so i've been doing it for two three years now and never have I had this. It's always, I, don't know, I guess other developers are a little more considerate. It's just always worked. So we're gonna get this all going. And I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to the next point when we are booting up. And we're gonna reboot. And uh, yeah, I do want, I want it to be rooted. So I think the boot animation is really pretty from what I've seen. Let's find out. Assuming it works. So a zip within a zip, that's really, freaking weird beyond me I would assume there's some sort of logical reason for it seems kind of stupid but whatever a little bit of view here. that's actually a kind of a pretty animation I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this just for your sake finally look at that we've got Oxygen OS looks exactly like everything else. I don't have my sim in this one, it's in my Nexus 6. Pardon me for a moment while I enter my Wi Fi. So, from this point on, uh, we'll just say it's all done. Uh, we'll do a hands on video after I tinker with it a little bit. From what I understand, it's not really anything fancy, pretty stock like, with just a couple of features for now. So, there's a quick tutorial. 
kind of a hack job, I know. Um, my mic was being really stupid, so I had to use a different one, but I don't like the quality of it. Uh, if you have any specific questions, drop them in the comments, and I'll get to them as soon as I can to answer them. Again, XDA is your friend. Just go there, forums.xda.com. That's been all for now, and uh, I will see you in the next one. See ya.